Dynamic displays, also known as alternate views, allow you to change the state of objects on a page so you can visualize a wide assortment of dynamic interactions. Because they don't require a page refresh, dynamic behaviors can be triggered instantaneously on a page. This video will walk you through the creation of a dynamic display and the configuration of a switch views action to control its behavior. We are going to create an image viewer, which will take the form of a single dynamic display that cycles through a series of images. Let's start out by adding the first image to the page, choosing one of three images we prepared ahead of time. Now let's create our first alternate view. To do this, we'll right-click the image and choose Add View, Duplicate View. We immediately notice several changes in our workspace. First, a gray rectangle appears above the image. This is actually a drop-down menu that enables us to switch between the alternate views and provides a few other options for managing the display. Second, a small icon appears in the upper left corner of the image, indicating that it's part of a dynamic display. Third, the Views tab opens in the Details panel. More on this in a moment. And finally, the Views button in the Status toolbar becomes active. This button also enables you to switch manually between Views and Studio. Since we use the Duplicate View command to create the alternate view, right now our two views are identical. To swap out the image in the second view, we'll right-click the image and choose Change Image. Notice that not only the image changed, but the name of the view changed as well. Now we'll just repeat this procedure to add a third alternate view. Right-click, Add View, Duplicate View, and then right-click Change Image. Now we have a dynamic display with three alternate views. Keep in mind that alternate views can contain any page content you want, not just images. Let's take a look at the Views panel. To bring the Views panel back up, just click the icon in the dynamic display. It's important to name your dynamic displays to make it easier to configure page actions and other dynamic behaviors that affect the display. You'll also want to name your views descriptively. We should be fine with the image names. The default view tells your simulation which view should be displayed when the page loads in your browser. We cover rules in another video. Now that we have a dynamic display, we want to give our reviewers the ability to change the views. To do this, we'll use Switch Views Actions. To create a Switch Views action, we'll drag an action widget from the toolbar to the canvas. When we choose Switch Views on the left, our dynamic display appears on the right, along with a drop-down that includes all of its views as well as some other options. To enable our reviewer to cycle through the images in the display, we'll choose the Next View option. Let's label the canvas widget so its function is clear. If we want the previous view to be available as well, we can simply repeat this procedure, this time selecting Previous View instead of Next View. Now we need something our reviewers can interact with to trigger the Switch Views actions. Let's keep it simple and add two text widgets that we'll set up as our source widgets. First we'll connect the Next View trigger, and then the Previous View trigger. Let's test the dynamic display in our browser. As your understanding of this tool increases, you can explore other ways of controlling alternate views, including data and user input. Look for our videos covering rules to learn how.